I quickly want to take a couple of minutes to discuss holster retention. I see it often on the internet where a person will post a picture of his pistol and his holster. And the first question that people will ask is, how is the retention of this holster? Many times the question goes unanswered. When we look at retention, we look at it from a fighting standpoint. Thousands of hours in the gym where people fall, they clinch, they grapple, and fights get ugly. We're not talking about just plain, nice, simple uh, clinical range work. We're actually talking about fighting. And I've seen countless of pistols fly out of the holsters and fall all over the place. If your holster cannot retain your pistol, it might be a problem. I'm not saying you're going to die in a fight, but it might be a problem. So first off, this is a blue gun, so it doesn't have the same weight as my pistol. Be aware, if you're going to test this, make sure your pistol is safe and a shot cannot go off. Don't do something stupid. But generally what we do is we turn it upside down. It should stay in the holster, and if I give it a bit of a tug, it shouldn't fall out. Okay, so this holster's retention is just not enough. Now when we look at, let's call it safety or security holsters, I mean, this pistol is never going to come up. It's got that little paddle there that you need to smack. So if you have to draw it, you smack it with the finger, it comes out. Pass the test. If I look at another safety holster, even without the hood in there, it still has a lot of retention in there. So this will pass the test by all means. Look at the outside the waistband holster. Give it a couple of tugs. There's a bit of movement. Nothing's happening. I'll take another example. In here, you can hear that thing click in. This holster also has the adjustment screws for tension. Retention in it, it stays in there. A little bit harder to pull out. The retention should not be so high that you cannot pull it out. So this works fine. Uh, let's look at two more holsters. You've got the holster that I generally carry. It's not going anywhere. And we look at the Safari Land safety holster. It is not going anywhere. I need to get that safety button out there. Yes, I've moved the gun around. It's a plastic gun. Nothing to worry about. So just go home and do that test. Do it safely. Take it upside down, pull it, and see if it falls out. If it falls out, there's a good chance that in a struggle, if things don't line up, that your pistol will fall out of the holster, which will can create a huge problem. Now, I don't <laughs> consider these things as holsters. I mean, these clips are just absolute horrendous. But just something that I want to mention, and obviously there's going to be no retention in there, and the pistol is far away. Uh, just remember, whenever you are carrying a holster with a, especially these leather holsters with a thumb strap, okay, I hope you know how to reholster this safely. Not getting the fingers in there and, and sweeping yourself with your pistol. There is a way that you need to get the pistol in. So guys, a very quick video. Just go and look at your holster. If you want to go buy a holster, go test it and see if it makes the test. It's non-scientific, but we kind of found with holsters that doesn't have great retention, they fall out much easier than holsters with better retention. On that point as well, hybrid holsters with, let's say, lever on the one side and Kydex on the one side, they will sit great, they will probably fail this test. And you will say, but it gets the retention from the belt. The problem is, if you're on the ground, your body starts moving and giving way, and all of a sudden the tight belt will not be that tight anymore, and it can fall out. Last thing that I want to mention on holsters, yes, outside the waistband holster with a jacket is always going to be faster. A lot of guys carry shirts over and outside the waistband holster. We have found so many times, for some reason, just because of the angle and where the pistol sits, uh, especially in a close-in kind of a clean position, we found that it's much easier 
for the bad guy to get the pistol out of the outside the waistband's holster, then it will be an inside the waistband holster. Not just for a gun grab, just out of general fighting. That's, that's a couple of things to know about. I mean, I'm not, say, I'm not saying change the way that you carry. I'm not saying you're carrying a bad holster. I'm just saying these are the things that could go wrong. And if you want, you know about it, you go and train and you go and correct it. Thanks for tuning in.